Ebe bu swi mienu ni ni yatu fangu mu empre mienu. Ahamu nche mu mienu eni echiri po edriosu ensiya. 2.76% na babeda so. Oko bebi eton fangu na petro no mu etonu sidi num eni empeshu anu edrinu eba ku. 5 cities 21 pesos. Ena diesel no omu etonu sidi nu enum eni empeshu anu ensun 5 cities 7 pesos. We enam so ama gana fo bi e kasai bo sunjue chile chila banu sebe ya. Wanya bibi mfanfa petro no wesanse ebo no. Eko ne ni mu tente mdutu. Enu enti ni mpini fo mu kasa. Eda fangu ngu nuko ye nshie munu. Ope njini kwa nche fo da MP anu. Uru alasa tampuli, edi atu gana vwo nye ni mu, seba fango e buwa nutu muna, e nina wa musubi mu, inti gana vwo yen shene nso sa. The 16th October to 31st October pricing window saw some adjustment in the price of petroleum products. And I believe this week the pump prices were adjusted. As of today, the Ghana city has made some gains against the United States dollar. And the nearly 2% decrease in the price of diesel and petrol, as well as the observed 8% decrease in the price of LPG, will be passed on to the public through pump prices again, as the economists will see, Cetri Paribus, all things being equal. That is how a deregulated market works. So the MPA will no longer be able to determine prices by just sitting in our offices and then announcing prices. And so when you hear some civil society groups say that the MPA has not announced prices and that we have nicodemously smuggled prices at the pump, it is one that we all have to take pains to help to address. Enu etinu, bebi abano e ye ashe amye di ye pintwa akwa koton from the jari sabono. Enu suwa kasafa hon eche chilimu esi. Cabinet directed a number of actions among which is the implementation of the national LPG policy on 12th October 2017. The cabinet also directed specifically that the authority, that the Ministry of Energy through the National Petroleum Authority roll out the cylinder recirculation model of LPG distribution. The Ministry of Energy subsequently directed the authority to constitute an implementation plan a committee to plan and execute the policy implementation. The policy objective is to ensure at least 50% of Ghanaians have access to safe and environmentally friendly LPG for domestic, commercial and industrial use by the year 2030.